Hi and welcome students. Today I'm going to be talking to you about laptop computers. I'm going to go over the differences between laptops and desktops and then I'm going to show you two types of laptops that I use and what the benefits are and what the cons are. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we have to know when we use a laptop computer is what is the difference and what is a laptop. Uh, a laptop is a personal computer. It has the functionality of a desktop computer, meaning it's using a desktop operating system. That's very important when it comes to distinguishing between a laptop and a tablet because say the iPad it uses the iOS operating system meaning that is a mobile operating system also used on the iPhone as opposed to a MacBook Pro which uses the Mac OS operating system and that's going to be seen on your uh, Mac desktop computers as well. So we're going to go over um, what the laptop is and then I'm going to show you both of these types of laptops. Uh, one key feature of laptops is they can open the same types of files that you would be able to open on a desktop computer. So what's the difference? They're designed for portability, right? You need to be able to take your laptops on the go. They have a battery, they have a monitor, keyboard, touchpad and speakers all in them. So it's all in one design as opposed to the computer case, monitor, uh, keyboard, and mouse being separate. Um, so yeah, they are battery paced, uh, sorry, battery powered, and so that's a main difference. First thing you'll notice about a uh, laptop computer, they don't have a mouse with them. So since we don't have a mouse with us, we're going to have to use something else. That's called the touchpad. It's also called a trackpad. Basically, it's a touch sensitive device that lets you control the pointer. So I'm going to switch back the camera to me now and I'm going to show you the touchpad on the two devices that I use. So the first device that I'm going to show you here is a MacBook Pro and you can see it right here and that's the touchpad area right there. Okay you can see how big it is on the uh, how much space it takes up and pretty much as you move your finger along this part on the trackpad it will uh, move the mouse as you can see it moving right there and then as you press down on it it will click it okay so you can see how large that trackpad has, is there and then here's the Microsoft Surface Pro 4 you can see that right there is the trackpad for this one so uh, it is a smaller space uh, on this one compared to the MacBook Pro. Now a couple other things that you have to know about portability on laptops is take a look at the MacBook Pro screen right here. Uh, it is a larger screen than the uh, Surface Pro, however it is not touch screen. Okay, so not touch screen there as opposed to the Surface Pro here which is a touch screen so I could open anything by using this. Another cool thing about the Surface Pro as opposed to the uh, Mac MacBook Pro is you could just break off the keyboard right there and it becomes tablet mode and so you could actually work with it um, just in a tablet mode if you wanted to view it that way too and as you can see it snaps right back in so that's a little bit of the differences in the keyboard and the monitor and the touchpad on these devices so moving ahead here we now have a battery right every laptop has a battery and it allows you to use it when it's not plugged in Okay, so this is good if there's ever a power outage or anything like that, and it's also good, again, for portability. That way you could take your laptops on the go, and you can use them uh, from wherever, even if there's not a power outlet around, uh, do that ba uh, battery. Now, laptops do have a relatively short battery life, especially if you're doing some sort of high media content like playing a video game on your computer. That's going to take up a lot of power uh, very quickly. Um, so that's how the batteries work. The good thing is you can recharge the battery, right? As soon as you plug it into your uh, laptop, it'll recharge the battery. That way you can um, take it with you on the go after that. The next thing is the ports on the laptops. Now, most laptops do have the same type of ports as the desktops. As you can see here, uh, this laptop has two USB ports right there. You got your headphone jack, and then you have a HDMI so that you can connect to an external monitor, and a VGA to connect to an external monitor. Now, this is something that you'll see in larger laptops, like the ones that are in this picture. Now, the two laptops that I just showed you are relatively lightweight. They're relatively small. So you'll see here, we'll take a look at the ports on my laptops. And first I'll show you the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro. Again, this is running Windows 10 on here. If I collapse it, we'll take a look at the ports on here. So you can see up on the top, there are no ports, okay? Um, 
yeah, there's no ports other than uh, there's just a few buttons for power and volume. Then on the side here, we have a USB port, which I have right here. I already have a mouse plugged into that. And then I also have uh, another USB over here, as well as the power port. Sorry if the camera's a little weird. There's the power uh, right there. So anyway, this one does have more ports than the Mac. However, it's still very few ports. Only one USB port right there to uh, plug in. No HDMI port. I actually had to get a uh, special cable to plug into this one to use HDMI. So that was kind of a pain if I wanted to use this for another monitor. So that's your Surface Pro. You see the ports that are on there. That's not nearly as many as the ones you saw on the um, on the PowerPoint slide there. Now the next one I'm going to show you is the Mac. Now as some of you know Apple's famous for having very few ports. You can see on the top of it there are no ports. Back of it there are no ports. Uh, this side they gave us one headphone port right there and then finally over here there's two USB type C ports. So uh, you actually plug it in to charge using that, which is kind of cool. I do like that, but just the lack of uh, USB ports is kind of frustrating on this one as well. So um, there are benefits to having those bigger, bulkier laptops if you do use those ports a lot. Uh, for instance, if I had an external keyboard um, and some other USB device where I, say I wanted to charge my phone or something, it would be very helpful to have both of those USB USBs that you see there on uh, the PowerPoint slide. So again, uh, when you do have the smaller, thinner, sleeker laptops, it's they're going to have fewer ports. So anyway, that's something to think about as well. All right, uh, next thing that you have to know is the price. Okay, first thing I'm gonna talk about here is the price of a laptop versus the price of a desktop. Um, students ask me, hey, should I buy a laptop? And I ask them, well, how often do you use the laptop on the go? How often do you use it when you're um, on the move, you know, um, at school, if there's not a computer available? And if they say a lot, if they're constantly using it, like at a coffee shop or anything like that, I tell them, okay, you might want to get a laptop. However, Keep in mind, laptops are typically more expensive than the desktops with similar specifications. So for instance, if you're getting a laptop that runs uh, a, a certain processor and has a certain amount of disk space and a certain amount of RAM, typically that uh, laptop is gonna be more expensive than a similar uh, desktop, okay? I hope that made sense. So basically, you're going to get a little bit less for the money on a laptop than a desktop. Why? Because you're paying for the portability. So laptops are typically going to be more expensive. Now, the two computers that I showed you here, um, this one is a Surface Pro, okay? This is going to be a lot cheaper than your MacBook Pro. Why? Typically, your Macs and your Apple uh, computers are going to be more expensive. So you could get this one for a lot cheaper. However, keep in mind, this is actually probably one of the more expensive Windows laptops that you could buy. So uh, you could actually find very cheap uh, Windows laptops from a variety of places for, for much less expensive than a Surface Pro. However, a lot of times those are going to be your bigger, bulkier laptops. Uh, but again, there's lots of great ones out there. Uh, a third option that I didn't really bring up uh, in this video is a Google Chromebook, which is another operating system um, by Google. And so Chromebooks, I saw one today, I think it was $200. And so those ones are going to be again on the uh, cheaper end of the scale as far as your laptops go. Um, so hopefully this video helped explain a little bit about laptops, what they do, and the different types of laptops. If you have any questions about anything I covered in this video, please put it in the comment section. But thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.